what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? Juicebox Boy here, back with another Try Hard Thursday. All of my Try Hard Thursdays are Juicebox Boy videos. Um, I'm gonna play Chronos just because I want to play Chronos, not for any particular reason. I just enjoy Chronosing people. Um, I do want to say I'm doing another 24-hour stream on the 30th, starting on 6 p.m. Eastern. <coughs> oh God, the 30th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna be sicko mode. Hope to see you guys there. Um, you can be a member on YouTube for $5 a month to get five extra videos per month. I've already uploaded two this month. The third one is coming out on Saturday. A little sneak peek. Um, just because it's Saturday, you might know what it is, but it's pretty pog, dude. So they're, uh, they're amazing videos. You should definitely watch them. You should definitely be a member if you can. I would appreciate it. Anyways, hold on. I'm opening emails and stuff while recording videos because I'm so cool and busy. I'm just kidding. I'm not busy at all. They were Facebook spam messages. All right. Hello, Hades. That which has happened is revealed. I'm going to go Hakate. But also okay, that actually, which here's the thing. And that which has yet to here's the thing. Listen closely. Kronos, please shut the fuck up. I can't, I can't hear myself think. Okay, here's the thing. I, Sam Dude Tuber Extraordinaire, need... Sorry, not Sam Dude Tuber Extraordinaire. The Juice Box Boy Extraordinaire. I need to win this game. Obviously, it's Try Hard Thursday. My MMR is in the tank. I need to win it. Obviously. But know things before they happen. I kind of want to win it without building Hecate. I think Hecate's good, but like Bancroft's Claw is just so good. You know what I mean? Come on. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Damn, he's still clearing his first buff. I'm gonna keep the minions over here so that I can, uh, not all of the way die. Oh God, I almost got thrown into tower there. That would have been cringe. Hello. I do way more damage than you do. Yeah, I win. I win these battles. I win these battles. Maybe not the war, but the battle for sure. Uh, that's not good. Mm. You know what? Actually, it might be okay because. I have shell and he doesn't. Please use your one on me. Thank you. Now you die. Wait, hold on. Nice. Nice. I hit him with the bait. I hit him with the bait. I was waiting till he used his one and the second he used his one, I hit my shell and he can't stop his one because obviously you're not allowed to cancel the one. So imagine if you could cancel dashes and jumps mid dash or jump. That would be ridiculous. You can kind of do it with Cthulhu. I, dude, what if they added other gods that could do that? I don't know. I'm still waiting for a... Uh... Chill, what is that one god... Uh, the one champion called from League of Legends? The one who can burrow underground and then place like a portal and then burrow from portal to portal. Underground, completely safe, like not targetable. It's kind of like Giannis, but like they're permanent, I think. Or they last a few minutes or something. Hello? You have... Okay, never mind. You ulted. I'm a big bozo idiot doofus. But you know what? As a big bozo idiot doofus, I'm going to be super Omega cringe and not let you do anything cool that you want to. Hello. There it is. Second blood, baby. Blue buff, you may spawn. I'm waiting. Can I have this, please? Nice. I actually really thought that he was going to be there to stop me. Oh, he went to a speed buff. Um, 
You just used your three, so I'm not too scared of you stealing this. Perfect. My speed buff is down for a while. You do have your Bancrofts, but I don't know. I don't know if your Bancrofts is as good as my Bancrofts. Oh, he did my XP camp, I think. That's why he came from that side. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. <laughs> oh, he's so annoyed, dude. He definitely wins this trade battle, by the way. Because I have a no mana. Ah! All right, you alt. Yes. I take big dick damage, and then I alt. Congratulations. Nothing happened. I do win this auto attack trade. I am Kronos after all. Um, that's annoying. It's annoying that he got his back all the way off, but you know what? I'm just going to go Pestilence. I don't love going anti-heal in a defensive form. I like it more offensive form for mages like Divine and Toxic Blade, but it's fine. It's fine. My guess is he's going for red buff. My guess is he went for red buff. <laughs> Let me just reiterate. Why are you auto attacking me for 38 damage when you could be hitting the wave? Thank you, XPZ. That's going to be my blue buff again. Nice. I killed the minis. Oh, it was so close. Actually, so close. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I don't even think I need to Aegis this. You do nothing to me. Not Aegis, I mean alt it. Yeah, I don't even need to alt that. He just straight up doesn't do damage to me. Between my lifesteal and my pestilence, I am just too tanky. Go another one of that. Put a point to the two there, or use the two to get mana is what I was gonna say. There's no not really any farm on the map. I am a thousand gold up though, which is pretty insane. He did go divine, which is 100% expected. He's not gonna go bull demon. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, he's just proxy farming. All right. I'm down for this. I'm down to play your little proxy farm game. We'll grab this. And then tier two Typhons. He's going defense also. I'm not getting any anti heal yet though. I don't really think I need it. Probably waiting at red buff. Oh, he's not. Hello. You're going to lose the whole wave? Oh, he's just going to surrender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's going to one me, fear me, and then just surrender. Because he has the choice between the red buff or the wave. And either way, he's, he's getting a disadvantage. All right. Well, good first game, boys. I'll see you in game two. Hola, mi amigos. Game two. I could play Kronos again, but instead of playing... Why don't I ever play Soul? All right, we're locked in Soul, boys. I don't normally do it because I'm not the best at Soul.
Like, I know Soul is an S tier god, but I miss a lot of her autos because they're, they feel weird to me. That's why I don't ever play her. Huh? I am going to try hard, giggle, giggle. Giggle, giggle. <laughs> I am going to try hard. I don't play Soul too much. Like I said, mainly because... Well, I, I really blow at hitting her too. Like, just out the gate. I never hit the whole wave, which feels bad. And I also miss them most of the time. So, uh, I'm just a really bad soul, I think. But I can win with her sometimes because she's, like, so freaking good in duel. Mainly because she's a magical ADC. As you'd expect, all magical ADCs are pretty pogo in duels, so... Okay, I'd assume by how long it took him to clear the buff that, yeah, he started blue. I'm just going to poke you out. I'm okay with you for some reason doing that to me. Oh my gosh, you're level four. Wait, I'm pretty sure I, I missed. Wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure I win this fight, actually. Okay. All right, I definitely could have gone worse. All right, so I auto like four or five times and then I two. It's the whole wave. All right, I want to get his XP camp, but I also want to make sure he's not like super healthy all the time. So I got to keep poking him out. You're not going to steal this. We're not level five. Perfect. I did buy beads as my first relic. Just so I can maybe not die to a, the level 5 alt. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping. I'm hoping my precautionary beads is enough. I am a couple hundred gold ahead. I don't really know how, honestly. I'm gonna back. I want to contest that red buff. Backing right now is the perfect time. Obviously, I'm going to buy the health pot instead of the mana pot. Not because I think my mana is going to be fine, but because he's going to ult me for that red buff. And I'm going to try to fight him. Oh. We're not meeting at red. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm chilling. I am so chilling. He doesn't even have... He doesn't even have a... Uh, what's it called? Bancrofts yet. I ult the wave so I can get the red. What are you, you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to come over here and get the red? Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll believe it when I seize it. All right. Oh. I was really hoping you would go for his blue because then I could bully him out and keep his blue buff. But that's okay. That's all right. I think we go bulwark. <coughs> I know you're you're saying to yourself, Sam, why are you going bulwark against an Anubis when you could definitely just go pestilence instead? Well, here's my reasoning. I actually think bulwark is better than pestilence against Anubis because 25% anti-heal is not going to do jack shit against an Anubis with Bancrofts. We all know it. We've all played that matchup before. Um, <clears throat> so buying anti-heal is just like... You're just tricking your mind into thinking it's good. Obviously, a divine or like a toxic blade, you know, something that's not 25% anti-heal will be more effective. So like, I will be going into those. But <clears throat> a bulwark has 20% CCR. Bless you. 20% CCR... Excuse me, is um, basically for those who don't know what CCR is. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Uh, but those who don't know what CCR is, it's crowd control reduction. So his, his stun is going to affect me 20% less, which means his alt is going to do about 20% less damage. 
it's interesting that he tries to fight me right now when I'm the one with tier one defense and he has none. I get the kill there. Let's go. I guess he still did get my beads in that fight, but he lost his life for it, so I'll take it. But yeah, I think Bulwark is just like way better against Anubis. You're getting the shield to help you su survive the burst from his ult. You get um just as much HP as Pestilence, but you also get that 25 or 20% 20 crowd control reduction. So like you're just so much more survivable, I feel like, with Bulwark as a single defensive item that you are Pestilence. And don't get me wrong, if you're like in the solo lane and you have this matchup, which I don't know why you would, but if you are. Um, oh my god, he bought Ban he bought Nimble Bancrofts. As a new that that's the attack speed one, by the way. That's not that's not the good one. That's the attack speed one. Oh, I just gave him red buff. Darn it. Hello. Hello. You know what? Okay, fine. You can have that red buff, but I'm taking your blue buff. Heal. Yep. Yep. And he just wrap ulted me. I just took literally his entire ult. It didn't do anything to me. Hello. When will you learn that you don't win these fights? I have a full Bancrofts. I mean, a full uh, a Bulwark. I'm so freaking tanky, it's ridiculous. I will say, if he had Bancrofts Claw, he'd be in a bit better of a position, but that's all right. And I didn't get his blue, but he did alt for it, so. Gotta take your wins where you can get them, right? I'm maxing my one instead of my three. I know my three does a butt-ass ton of damage and gives me movement speed. Like, if he walks through my three, it'll do, like, four or five hundred damage. But my one is just gonna give me more, um, more heat when I level it. And keeping my passive up is... Way more important than keeping my burst up. Because I know my burst is going to be there. My passive is a lot more weird. You and Pestilence. Okay. I have 1,800 gold in hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think I lose this fight. Okay, turns out I do lose this fight. Never mind. I I, I was also sitting on apparently 2300 gold. My bad. Um Okay. I think I'm going to go horrific. <clears throat> I think horrific so he can't run away is pretty insane for me. And we'll go this. That death is bad, but it's not the end of the world because I am still slightly ahead. And my tower damage is so much better than his. Like, it's he'll never have a chance at that. So... I missed my two, dude. I told you I'm bad. How dare you, Juke? I think he's going Chrono Spend it now. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, 
Nice. All right, with the toxic blade and the 60% anti heal, he actually could not sustain himself up, which is perfect for me. Not to mention I had obviously the uh the speed buff, which helps. You all right, baby? All right, he's only dead for a second or two, so I'm not going to be able to get the Phoenix here, but I can do about half of its HP. Or about 75% of it, I guess. Ouch. Pow, 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 pow. This is another one of those times where I have no mana and 2,000 gold, so I shouldn't fight him. Probably. But also, I do have Toxic Blade, and I'm not scared. Come back. I missed my two. Unlucky. Now I am scared. I need to make sure... Oh, I'm dead. I need to make sure that I always have my Toxic Blade on him. Because if my Toxic Blade falls off, my guy shoots straight up to full HP, and I am not going to feel too good about it. <laughs> There's also no way in hell I ever get this buff, but, you know, just for funsies. Oh, I did get the buff. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm backing. Please don't stop my back. All right, I'm going to go Hecate. Hecate. That's what I'm going to build. Your middle tower is under attack. This is definitely a more competitive match than it should have been. Basically because I suck. And uh, I keep missing like half of my abilities. Hello. Good rap. I'm mad at it, but it was a good rap. Are you backing? Or what if you didn't? You know how you were just backing? You know how you did that thing where you like start backing and stuff? What if instead you no longer did that because I horrific you? And then just W key you forever. W and mouse button, hello. Nice. Here we go. Alt to stop the back and then W and left mouse to basically win the game. I don't think I win the game here, actually. My damage is so bad, man. I have 257 power and a red buff. But I don't feel like... Like, I auto for what? 70? Oh, 105, actually, on the Titan. Never mind. But still, I don't think this, this wins yet. It's too early in the game. He's not dead long enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I think he's ulted me literally twice this whole game and both times he died ulting me. Actually, no. One time, one of the times he didn't die, he got his blue buff from me. You think I'm just going to let you walk past me? I hit him with 26 auto attacks. Oh my goodness. It's speed buff because attack speed. Two to clear, and now I got fire minions, so this should be game. But I only hit for 97 now instead of 105. Oh, he's just standing there. Oh, no, he's not. He's playing. GG! We won with soul, babe. We did it. All right. I'll see you guys in game number three. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number three. I'm playing AMC because he's open for some reason. This person banned Achilles, Charybdis, Artemis, and Lancelot. I'm not saying Lancelot's a... His name is Sloppy Toppy. <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what, Sloppy Toppy? I'm not going to criticize anything you do because your name is better than mine. All right. Deal? Deal. Um, eh, probably just a shell. 
Honestly, what I could do is just slap a horrific on this bad boy. I just want to place my hives down and make sure that I have full coverage over everything. There we go. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. What? Is there two circles? Wait, are did his hives change? Wait, why are there two circles on his hives? Hold on, I gotta read this. Oh, hives are like massive wards too. I didn't know that. How long has hive hives been a massive ward? Let's put this spot under a microscope. Hmm. That's very interesting. All right. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You learn something new every day. Okay. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, sloppy toppy, and why? Do you think that I'm just going to allow you to hurt me? I'm maxing my two, by the way. I never max my two when I play AMC. I haven't played AMC in quite some time, by the way. But um, the reason is because I really like how fast the three clears. How little mana you actually need to clear with your three. But how many hives do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have maximum hives right now I do have maximum level hives at the moment I really wish I didn't pick up the speed buff and I picked up the blue instead and he's not having any fun I am just straight up pushing tower right now he's just kind of standing there Ow. Does more damage than I do, that's for sure. Mm, this game is so weird because he's like not even really playing. Think he's gonna contest this or no? I guess not. All right. All right. Kind of a really boring player. He's he's quite literally just sitting under his tower, not doing anything. Want this and this. <clears throat> But, oh well. <laughs> okay. I got my latte today, boys. No latte art at the moment, but it is a French toast cheesecake flavored latte. It sounds like it's going to be litty titty, but who knows? Honestly, it will be litty titty. Shiv made it. Bro, I haven't even showed up in lane in like eight minutes and he's still just sitting at the tower. Okay, I showed up and I killed him. So now we take tower. And then we push for Phoenix. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this man is like super demoralized by my name. Which is weird, but you know, whatever. He's just going to surrender in a minute anyways. Well. Bro, huge fan. This is my fourth duel game. I'm going to get whooped. Well, yeah, if you spend the whole game not playing, obviously. 
thank you for being a fan, but bro, have some confidence in yourself. Just because I'm me doesn't mean you can't beat me. You got this. Maybe not anymore, actually. Maybe maybe and not anymore you don't have this, but there was a time when you had this. I'm standing this far back because I'm in my hive. <laughs> All right, now I'm pretty sure you die. And now we win the game. Perfect. Dude, AMC is so gross. Your fighting potential with AMC is so, like... It's so good. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. It's so strong. I didn't want to waste my shell. So I doubled back into the Titan to let it hit me one more time. Because... <laughs> I had uh, I had cost fallacy with my shell there, and it only stopped the one auto attack. So I really wanted it to stop another one. Mm. I can maybe kill him. Can I pick up my thing? Nope. No, I cannot. Okay. Alright. Well, I didn't pick up the singer, but I did get the kill. I also have 4k gold in hand right now. Kind of a lot. These. Grabbing those on my way over to this red buff. Thank you, red buff. And then I'm going to go... I guess I'll just go, like... Perfect for spreading the pain. Kins XE. Perfect for spreading the pain. Who... What does it sound like I've heard that voice before? It sounds like the doctor. Perfect for spreading the pain. The, like a... Ah, I can't remember. Um. Ah, crap, dude. He's like the evil doctor from Marvel. It's perfect for spreading pain. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, dude? I don't, I'm not going to kill him again. I feel bad. GG. All right. Game number four, I think that was. We played, no, that was game number three. We played AMC, Soul, Kronos. He in game four. What's up, boys? Game number four, I'm playing some Al Quangers. Well, I'm playing on her. I'm fighting an Al Quangers. The latte is very good. It's also very hot, so the top of my mouth is burning away like a lava fire. But that's okay, because I kind of asked for it. Um, dude, I don't know. It's so weird, because I feel like I do the same start every game. It's not like I don't want... It's not like I want to do it. But, like, there's not a better start than just rushing Transcendence as fast as you can. Which is annoying, but also true. And so here's how you clear with on her. You auto the big guy once, and then you press two. Then you auto the little guys once, and then you jump on them. They die, and then you kill the big buff. There you go. Just like that. You got perfect damage and pretty fast clear. 
You can do the same thing with blue, by the way. Because your cooldowns come up. He did. He took my blue. Okay. I don't respect that. Okay, well, you don't win this fight, so. Huh? You don't even have your one? You invaded my blue. Fought me in my wave and didn't even have your one to get out. That's a misplay. I guess he put two points in his two and one point in his three. By the way, invading is not as good as doing your own buff. Because... <clears throat> You get less gold and XP for invading. So if someone is doing their own buff, like if, if I'm doing my speed and you do my blue, you're getting less gold and XP than I got from a, for doing my speed. Now, obviously it doesn't matter if you get both of your buffs as well, but if you're invading, you have to pretty much guarantee that you have the better early game and that you can confirm three buffs, basically. Which is not something you can do often. Or, or you're invading to try to get a kill. Not because you want their buff. Both are acceptable, but... I figured I would just let you guys know. Red buff is spawning now. He does have blink, so he could try to kill a uh, kill buff with a... A cheeky blink three, which I got to keep on the lookout for. I'm not using my one because if he does blink at me, I want to make sure that I won him and get ready for a fight. Also, I don't have alt up, so he could alt me and I could be big dead. Okay. Well, he blinked, but he, he missed his stuff. He also used his one. I think you die now. All right. I didn't want to have to alt, but I was getting scarily low. Because he, uh, he could have very easily executed me. And I was, I just didn't want to, like, that would be. Imagine if I held my alt and died there, right? Like how much would everyone make fun of me? No thanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna blast my ultimate out, even though I only needed one tick of it to win the fight. And just make sure that I don't get gobbled up by a dragoon. That blue buff acquired. I am 1.5k ahead. I clear so fast. Oh my. Where'd you go? He went the other way. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, I maybe could have killed him there. All right, he's going to lose his blue buff. Well, he's going to lose his blue buff or his tower. He gets to pick, I think. He has his choice of the litter here. Turns out he's going to keep the tower. Or he went for a speed buff and he's going to lose, lose both. Okay. Nice. Nice. He went for a speed buff. So he lost his blue and he lost his tower. And then uh, he tried to fight me and he lost his life. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I think he has to make some crazy plays to try to make a comeback from this, but the plays he's making are a little bit too crazy. A little bit too wild. I'm kind of thinking, what if I just didn't go Kins here? Obviously, I initially thought, okay, Kins is like a 40 power item that gives you 20% attack speed and extra damage on top of that. So it's pretty insane. But, um, now I'm thinking like, oh, hello. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh man. He blinked in so he had his one to get out. But now I'm thinking, what if I just went like more damage? Like, uh, uh, I mean, actually, whatever, dude, let's just do the normie build. We'll do the normie build because it's try hard Thursday. I'm supposed to be try harding. I'm not supposed to be memeing. We'll do the good shit. I could go defense here, but that's super cringe. I feel like if you're up 2.5k gold and you go defense, you're kind of a loser. So. I'm not going to do that. Mm. It's going to run at him. Alt this wave and go do bull demon. I don't know if there's anything he can do to me here. He doesn't have his blink up. He does not do anywhere near close enough damage to out damage my two for the secure on this. Yeah, I don't think there was anything he could have done. I will say my next item being a beat stick would feel pretty good. Nice. All right, GG, GG. Game number four, maybe five. I don't know. I don't know what game that was, but I'll see you guys in the next one. We're only fifty minutes into the recording, which means we're only like probably forty minutes into the actual video. Fog. Uh, what's up, boys? The game number I actually do not know anymore. I am playing Lancelot, fighting Mulan. Okay. This is kind of a solo lane matchup. Alvaro. <clears throat> Alvaro, okay. I never understood all the numbers at the ends of people's names. Unless they, like, needed to be there. But normally, the only number that needs to be there is, like, one of them. Sometimes two of them if the name is super popular. But, um... Or if the number is meaningful, I guess. But 201312 doesn't seem like a meaningful number. Mm, I'm just going to go this. Is it really stupid to not go for my three at level three? I don't know. How, how, how heavy is my mana? This only costs mana once, right? I know I have him diamond, and I know I played a crap ass ton of Lancelot in the beginning. Hold on. One, two. Yeah, okay. It only costs... It only costs the mana a single time. Good to know. He super out cleared me. But maybe he's double buffing. He is double buffing. No sorry. Perfect. Perfect. You do not scare me. Nice. We got the shell. Oh, dude, one HP, man. All right, we do the good old swing at the auto. Oh, no. Oh, dude, it was so close. It was so close to killing. He does have a chalice, by the way, so he really, uh... He really did want that dub. The early game dub. Oh my god, no way. No, I'm not letting you live. No shot. No shot. Uh-uh. You think I'm just gonna let you walk out of there with 100 HP? When I know I can kill you? No way, bro. Now, I will say, I'm grabbing my transcendence now, but I'm not going to have any sustain at all, so... Might not be the greatest. We'll see.
Dude, already having transcendence though in less than two minutes is pretty insane. Hello? Mm. You're not gonna do that. I know you are not doing that. Oh, I didn't know you could take me off like that. Oh, you have no mana. Oh! Damn it. I wonder if he went to his speed buff there. Is it weird? I actually think he might have gone to his speed buff there because he might have thought I was going to invade. Please, can I get this without dying? Nice. Now I have to do my blue without dying. And we are incredibly far ahead. Like, just... What is that? That's... Yeah, I mean, 800 gold, 900 gold. And a level. This early into the game. Now, he could probably kill me because of how low I am. But, um... I don't know. Oh, God. Damn, that does 200 damage, actually. Kind of a lot of damage. I knew you'd go for it. Not insane. Oh, man, you are low HP. Oh, and you got no mana. You got no mana. And you do half as much damage as I do. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm actually going to stay. Because I'm one wave away from getting a full breastplate. Nice. So now we have a transcendence and a full breastplate at four and a half minutes into the game. That's insane, dude. That's so fast. That's so fast. I know there's a lot of Lancelot players that max their three, by the way. I don't think it's bad to max your three, but I think it's much better in Conquest than it is in Duel. It's very easy to be knocked off your horse. Well, obviously not if you level it, but just like CC wise. Look at that damage. Holy shit. There's the alt. Oh, I wanted him to come for the wave. I could actually also go a soul leader here if I wanted. Oh, he has no mana. I think he dies. I think he dies here. Yep. Yep. For those wondering how you you throw the horse the way you're not looking all it does like even though my horse is facing that way if i'm looking like whatever direction the horse will go that way even if the horse doesn't look like it can go that way it will still go that way again let me show you i turn that way but then i look that way it'll it'll always go where you look it'll always go where you look so you can alt past somebody because your camera doesn't have the same limitations that the horse does so because your camera doesn't have those limitations you can alt past them turn your camera 180 and throw your horse back the other direction you don't even need to use the three here and waste your mana it doesn't actually do anything just a little tip for people that uh are just getting into lance a lot or maybe wanted to learn a little bit more about him 
Oh, hello. I want him to think I'm doing bull demon. Definitely kill him here. Nice, dude. <laughs> Yo, this god is insane. This god is insane, man. Hell yeah. All right, now we grab the beat stick. Is he a soul leader? <clears throat> oh man he's so sick i used my horse four times in one fight just now like my one twice and my two twice not to mention me actually hitting the alt which does damage that's incredible Oh, he's running for the XP camp. Hello. I'm going to hold my horse here. Just so I can keep up with him. Alright. Now we do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna clear this wave first. Oh, annoying. can't reach him dude oh he killed himself there i don't know why he did that i don't know why he did that if he didn't three me he would have lived there he probably wouldn't have won the game because i was six and oh and up 3k gold but he would have only lost phoenix he wouldn't have actually lost game so i don't know i don't know either way i'll see you guys in the next game Hello, welcome back to probably game number 34,388. Because there's a lot of games in this, this TriArt episode. We are doing so many because they're all so quick today, man. They're all so quick. I don't know. I want to... Okay, so let's go over the gods we've played, probably. That'll help me. I played on her. I played AMC. I played Kronos. I played Soul. I played Lance a lot. It's only five. So this is game number six. Right? I don't think I played on her AMC. Kronos. Soul. Lancelot. That's it. All right. So this will be game number six. And I'm playing Hades against Akali. So this should be a good matchup, actually. It should be a good match, not a good matchup. The matchup itself kind of sucks. <laughs> the reason the matchup kind of sucks is because when I alt him. Sorry, hold on. Hades won't stop talking. It wants to kill, huh? Oh, okay. Keep it out of my face, though. 
Um, but the reason this is a bad matchup is because, yes, I do gain a shit ton of protections while I'm alting, but he becomes damage immune, basically, or death immune while he's alting. So if we're alting each other, which will happen at some point in this game, probably, he can just punch me in the head with kins and I die. And I, and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> and I will say, the, there's one good thing about this matchup, and it's that if I time my fear perfectly, then I um, can actually kill him before his before he even has the option to ult. So that is one great thing about this matchup. I don't know if he's double buffing. No, he just single buff. I'm just single buff. It's alright though. Not worried about it. Oh. Damn, you just stood in wave. You just took a lot of damage. Oh, but he is actually landing them autos. And he landed the jump too. Good thing I don't need to care about what he does. Okay. You jumped on me while I was level 5, so now... Oh, he's using his med. All right. I'll take an alt for a relic. I'm pretty sure he died if he didn't, uh, if he didn't med that. And his speed buff is up. I got to remember that. I can maybe invade that speed buff. Maybe if I clear this wave really quick. Okay. Ow. Big ouch amounts of damage. They are coming for you now. I don't know if he knows I'm over here. If he does, I die. If he doesn't, I'm pogging. Nice. We lived. Let's go. Alright, so I have three buffs. He's he's never gonna know that I took his speed buff. He's never gonna know. Red buff spawns in about now. Oh, you're backing. So he'll know I took, I took his speed buff now, I guess. Since he's backing here. Missing a wee little bit of XP from the wave. But that's okay. Red buff down. I don't want to pick it up. I'd much rather have a uh, blue buff right now. Hello. I want to ward his blue. I want to know when it comes up. Cause he only single buffed, so his blue should come up around the time that my speed buff does. He went stone cutting instead of golden blade first, which is not something I had ever expected. Um. But why? What an interesting fight. He just let me kill him pretty much. Okay. I mean, very weird. He might be invading this. I don't know what he's doing. I saw him on that ward to blue. But now I don't know where he is. Oh, I guess he was contemplating doing bull demon. I don't know. I am a thousand gold up though. Are you level eight off this wave or no? He's not. And I do get nine off this wave. So I'm two levels up or at the very least an entire level up. And, um, and 1k gold up. Damn, he didn't even get level eight off that wave, bro. Or off that, um, ouch. Off that XP camp. He did do that XP camp. All right. I'm going to back. I'm going to go Bancroft's Claw, and then I'm just going to go straight into Typhons. I could go Breastplate, but I don't need it. Not yet, at least. And a thousand gold up and a full level up. Probably about a level and a half, because I think he just got eight. Being this far ahead, I can kind of do what I want. I'm pretty sure I hit level 10 off this wave, too, so. Hello. I'm going to go do my XP camp. There is so much. 
Fuck, he's not gonna. Dude, I'm big evolved Hades now. Be scared. Be scared. Honestly, the coolest skin in the game. In my opinion. Because it's so like... It just... Fits Hades, man. It just fits Hades. I don't know how else to say it. Like, it suits him. You know, Archon Thanatos, it, it suits him too, which is why it's such a good skin. And it evolves. This skin suits Hades, and it evolves. So, like, all these things just add up. Okay. Where's his alt? Thank you. Typhons, I can go grab now, which I guess I will. There's no real reason to to try to stay a little bit longer there. I think I'm gonna go blink. I'm a toxic blade. That's a good item. Bro, my lead is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I wonder if he's doing Boldy, man. Oh, no. Maybe he was, but he saw me here. Oh, my God. Am I three absolutely chunkied on him? Hello. Come back. Best friend. Jeez Louise, he's speedy. I blinked on him, and I still couldn't catch him. All right, well, I guess now is the best time to risk Bull Demon. It takes me a very, very long time to do this and a lot of HP. So I don't know if I can, but the best time to try anything is right now, right? He wants my tower. Oh no, he wants the red buff. All right. What a respectable play, actually. Hello. Do you have jump up? I do. Gonna run that way. I want him to fight me because basically I can back him out really easy. And then I have my minions hitting tower. And my minions are going to do way more damage to tower than I will. Oh, I missed my three. That's okay. Nope. 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 You're never going to catch me. Nope. Phoenix down. Oh, man. I don't know about this. I do have blink up in four seconds. He does have jump up, too, though. didn't expect me there big kill <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh jeez. um he has no cooldown and i do have well i had cooldown with blue buff when i ulted so i should be okay to alt again will it kill him i'm not sure Okay, he definitely has alt. There's no way. 
Oh, dude, he lived. It actually did hit him, but he lived. That's insane. I'm not even mad. All right, I have 3,600 gold and no mana at all, so I'm leaving. And I'm too far ahead to go defense, so I'm just going to go Chronos Pendant. And I want my blue buff again. Because it seems like mana is pretty much my limiting factor this game. And then I think I can just go like alt is Titan. I'm 2.3k gold up and multiple levels, like three full levels. So I think I can just alt is Titan. GG, man. GG. The Chronos pending cooldown really got me there, there in the end. It really carried me with that, that extra fear three combo that I had because it procced while I was stunned. So, or while I was running away. So, it was really good. And uh, I will see you guys in the seventh and final game. What's up, boys? Last game of the video. I know. I know you're sad. I'm sad too. But I'm hitting up the Kleena game. I will change my skin because I know I've, uh, at least on stream, I played Kleena a couple times. So you guys might want to see a different skin. TTV Barry Ponds, I swear. If you're not live this time, twitch.tv slash Barry Ponds. I'm checking. I'm checking. Oh my God. He's not live again. If they have their restoration, they will stay Turn your away. stream on right now. I swear. You dare bait me multiple times. You dare. You think, oh, I'm going to name myself TTV Barry Ponds and I'm never going to go live and everyone's going to get baited by it. Ha 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 ha. No. Uh uh. That's not how this works. You don't bait me. I'll ban you. I'll, I'll message people and I'll get you banned. I can't actually, I don't have any power, so I can't do that. But I, if I did, no. Oh. You can imagine. You can imagine how fast he would be gone. How fast I would force a name change on this man. Alright. He got his buff. I'm assuming he just single buffed because it took him so long to clear. So I'm assuming he went for just the blue buff. Which he did. And he started tier 2 devos, which is a bit odd. All right. I definitely have the advantage. Not by a whole lot, but there is an advantage. Oh, that hit him. Oh, I don't know if you win this. Oh, God, that was close. Okay. That was actually really close. I had to land both of my... Uh... Oh, my God, wait. I'm going to die here. He has ult. Is he ulting? He's not ulting. Okay, actually, we're chilling then. Whatever, I'm staying. I don't care. I'm staying for the wave. Oh, he back.
All right, I'm hoping that because I altered the wave and I pushed it so heavy that he can't just straight up get red. He is going for red, but I think he sacrificed a lot of XP by doing that, which is not worth it. Oh, I got it. Let's go, dude. Nice. Oh my god, that does a lot. Alright, and his blue is up because his blue should spawn slightly... Yeah, slightly uh, later than my speed buff. Here we go. He does have ult. I don't know if he's going to use it on me here. He may because I invaded. That doesn't look like it. All right. We're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty good right now. I'll just walk through this wall here. Get here half a second quicker. Does he get eight off this wave? does okay there's not that far behind then he's a full level down because he got eight off that wave and i got nine off that wave but i was thinking for a second that i was if he didn't get eight off that wave and i got nine off that wave oh man that would feel really bad for him is this up no it's not i'm farming really well right now over a thousand gold ahead with only one kill. I do think I want to go Soul Eater this game. Because he went Devos, so he's kind of relying on a later game playstyle. Which means I should also rely on a later game playstyle, which, you know, going Soul Eater is going to give me that. So I will. Did I stop my back? Oops. Death returns me to my thoughts. Mm, and then I can go breastplate next item and be straight up just max cooldown. Damn, that's really good, man. I can do straight up max cooldown. And then I could just go like Art Seeker Beat Stick or something like that. Look how much damage I'm doing. You cannot compete. My damage output is insane, man. He's probably going to ult for his blue here. If he does, I would assume he'll actually get it. He is ulting for it. I'm going to wait his mana out. Perfect. Perfect. I used my health pool to basically wait out his mana. It's a little bit risky to do. The only reason it's slightly risky to do is because obviously if he can just auto trade me without using abilities, then you're going to die. So you shouldn't do it. But I was pretty confident that my damage while double stacking is really really high he's gonna have a very hard time dealing with me and the fact that his damage is low because he went devos instead of trans so all those things comboed up good this guy is so op man This god is so OP. <laughs> okay. You do not win this fight.
breastplate here I come. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go blink. Because a blink dash covers like basically tower to tower. So I can just be hyper aggressive all the time. Not to mention this wave gives me soul eater. He has no anti-heal. I do so much damage. There's so much of it. It's insane. Actually, I can just take your tower here. Perfect. Ah. All right. Nice. Oh my god, that cleanest scream after she got that kill. Holy crap, that, that was actually that was actually a pretty terrifying scream. It's the first time I've ever heard that. I didn't know I didn't know that she yelled like that when she got a kill. Oh my god. That's weird. That's weird. Alright. GG though. Basically went from 2900 MMR to 3200 MMR today. Back into GM. Not bad. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.